Hello guys, I continue drawing a series of strange machines. Today I will show you how I drew this forklift. I have already drawn the illustration in advance. So let's go straight to preparing for animation. First, I apply transparency to the layer with the illustration, create a new layer, and group them together. Then I draw guidelines along the roof, window level, and bottom of the forklift. I want the forklift to sway, so I draw additional guidelines that will be needed for tilting the forklift. So, I apply transparency to the layer with the guidelines and turn on animation assist. The group becomes the first frame, and I set it as the background. We move on to the rough draft. In the first frame, I start tracing the illustration, building the basic shapes of all elements. In the next frame, I tilt the forklift forward, following our guidelines. I make the wheels tilt to the right. Now, in the third frame, the tilt will be backward. So, also following the guidelines, I draw the basic outline. We tilt the wheels to the left. And in this frame, I add the top box jumping up. In the settings, we set frames per second to 3, and let's take a look at the preview. Our base is already ready. Now we will add intermediate frames. After each frame, I add one more. As a result, we have 6 frames altogether. I change the value of onion skin frames to 2, so that we can only see neighboring frames. And now I add intermediate frames exactly in the middle between them. The same thing I do for the next empty frame. On the last frame, there is no contour of the neighboring frame, so I temporarily duplicate the first frame and trace the intermediate frame. This is necessary to loop the animation. Let's take a look at the preview. The second stage of the rough draft is ready. Now I change frames per second to 12. This is the final value, so we watch the preview. We need to think about the speed and add frames where we need to slow down. I draw an intermediate frame between the first and second ones. Another frame for the box hanging in the air. Next, I add three more frames at the end, edit the position of the box. Thus, I want to add the effect of rebound upon landing. So, the third stage of the rough draft is ready. Now let's move on to adding details. On each frame, we draw eyes, hands, fasteners, antennae. To enhance the effect of swaying and add bouncing and blinking, I draw the antenna bending and blinking eye. So, now our rough draft is completely ready, and we proceed to the final cleanup and redrawing. I remove the transparency from the layer and think about where it's best to start the redrawing. Let's start with the wheels. 
we create a new layer and group it with the first frame. I apply transparency to the rough draft layer. Now we draw an oval and the tire thickness, as well as a second small wheel. Now we need to do this for each frame. Let's speed up. So, I added a fill to the tire thickness. Let's take a look at the preview. Now let's move on to the body. I choose the right color and start tracing it on a new layer. I manually draw the cutouts for the tires simply tracing around it. Where the body is in the same position, without tilt, I simply duplicate the layer from the first frame. Let's speed up. Check out the preview. It's a bit jerky in front, but it will be covered by other details. So, using the same technique, I trace the boxes. Here, I don't fill in the very bottom one, so that there are gaps on neighboring frames for drawing the hands. Like how it's turning out? Now let's make the hands. We also trace them on new layers on all frames. Since the hands are ready, we can fill the rest of the box with color. And now I add more pink fasteners. I make them by duplicating the layer and moving the closer fastener up and down. Let's check out the preview. It's time to make the antenna. Let's check out the preview. Great. Now it's the eye's turn. I trace it very carefully. The eye should evenly fill the window space. One more preview. Now we just need to add stickers to the boxes and lines for the tires. Guys, write what you thought of today's animation. Was it interesting or useful? Let me know if you liked it.
Thank you and see you in the next video.